Here's another quick video on figuring out, should I stop at a crosswalk given how far a pedestrian is from the crosswalk as I'm approaching? So I'll know a student is road test ready when I start seeing them make really good judgment calls about the timing of which they stop for a pedestrian that's approaching a crosswalk. So as I'm driving here, I can see this person that I literally couldn't see two seconds ago because of all this hedges and trees here. But as I get closer to this crosswalk, I can see right behind this SUV, oh, she's literally five steps away from the crosswalk. And I am like 30 meters back from that crosswalk. So I'm going at 50 kilometers an hour, I'm going about 13 meters a second. So I'll be there at that crosswalk in two and a half seconds or so. And so I'm thinking five steps away. Can she take five steps in two seconds? I'm, I'm not doing all this math, but I, you know, over time, you're going to feel it, right? You're going to feel like, hey, this distance is pretty far that as she's coming up, we're going to probably be at that crosswalk at the same time. Now, there's a lot of people that would see this person and be like, meh. Not my problem, you're gonna continue, right? And so if you get into that meh pers um, mentality, then not only one day will it catch up to you when, when there's a kid that doesn't understand meh, right? <laughs> They're gonna be just running across. So it's good to get into that habit. Also, the when you go on that road test, the examiner wants to see good judgment on this too, right? So we're coming up and could I have gone through like, would there have been an imminent crash? Probably not. It's a grown person, so they would probably realize that I'm one of those meh drivers, I'm, I'm going through, and then she would go through. But if someone is walking with intention as they were here, right? They weren't wobbling around and just like, you know, taking a stroll. It was, they're walking with intention. They're taking big steps towards that crosswalk, you see? It's a, it's a regular speed walking, and I can see and this is the other thing is you can see them start shifting towards that hole where the button is to activate because this one has a signal above the crosswalk signs. So you can see they're walking. Normally, they'll be walking straight at that crosswalk, right? But they're kind of shifting over. And those subtleties you need to pick up as a driver. Okay, and now her hand is going out. Why? Because she wants to press the button to activate these signals. And so... By the time she's done all that, I have nicely stopped before this here. And then you can see this, the other person did the same thing, right? Because, yeah, technically we could have just both flew by and pretend meh, right? But using good judgment, I'll come here. I'm going to slow down and stop. And that's the other thing. It's like, if you see another car slowing down and stopping at a crosswalk, you should be thinking, okay. You're ready to do the same thing, right? Now, this, and I talked about this in the other video, is sometimes students will take this to the extreme. They're like, we're approaching an intersection. They're like, try and 50 meters over there, right? There's a pedestrian walking. So maybe I should just come and wait here. Let them go. It's like, no, you're taking it to the other side of the spectrum. So there's a happy medium where things just work nicely on the road. So in this case, it made sense to stop. And notice this person is trying to clear the crosswalk once this person has cleared their side of the road. And you can do that, right? They don't need to sit there and babysit this person across. If there was somebody else coming up from this way, then they should continue to wait to let them use the crosswalk, especially when the lights are still flashing here. And similarly, I know she's done crossing, so I'm starting to go again. So. The takeaway from this video is what happens with new drivers, especially, and then the sometimes the not so good experienced drivers, if you will, is they're just looking in front of them. They're looking at the bus. They haven't left the nice following distance. Because imagine if I come and, you know, position my car so close to this bus, what's going to happen? There's now a big wall in front of me. I'm just driving like this going, okay, hopefully, whenever this person breaks, I'll break too. And then I miss everything that's happening around that bus. Leaving appropriate room from the vehicle in front of you 
allows for you to see better around that vehicle. Now I can see, oh, there's a person stepping up to use the crosswalk. If this person was over there, then I'm not gonna stop at, for them at this crosswalk, right? But maybe if they were on a bike and I see a bike like coming towards that crosswalk really fast, then I might think twice about just going through, right? Now, having said that, cyclists do need to dismount at crosswalks before they cross in order to be considered pedestrians. But again, we don't want to take that to the extreme and be like, eh, person is not dismounted, so my right away. Because sometimes kids don't realize that they need to dismount and cross at the crosswalk. And very rarely do I actually see even, even adults do that. So there's a fine line between what the rules are and then what you see on the road and kind of finding that happy medium of where those things meet and they work. So I hope you learned something from this video and I'll catch you in the next one.